It's hotter than hell in North Carolina. We're fixing to see if we can't get this TJ cooled off. Stick around. Yo, my name's Clint, and all the parts have come in for M's TJ. You move out in the country and you get tractors going down the road and you're trying to make a video. All right, so in the last video, I just basically disassembled everything. So we've ordered all new parts. Everything that we've ordered is in. And so we're gonna see if we can't get it going today. Let me show you what we got. So what we have here is a two core aluminum radiator from Mishimoto. It comes with three different size nipples for your transmission lines and the mounting hardware. Upper and lower radiator hoses by Gates. Water pump and gasket, also by Gates. New fan shroud, new heater core tube, and a 180 degree thermostat and gasket. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test fit this water pump so I can get an idea of where this tube for the heater core, which way it has to go. I'm just gonna set the pump in place and the tube's gonna go roughly like this. So you can't you can't put this tube on with the water pump bolted to the block. You 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 can't turn it around. So you're gonna have to have this pretty damn close before you mount the water pump. bit more. There we go. That looks just about perfect. So for me, this was the orientation of the pipe. Yours may be a little bit different. No Jeep is exactly the same. All right, so I've put a very, very, very thin bead of RTV on the water pump just to hold the gasket in place so I can get the bolts in it. Water pump's on. Now we're gonna move to the water neck and the thermostat. Same deal, just goes right on there like that. Put your thermostat in here, put your gasket on, slide your bolts there. Actually, it's, easy, it's a little bit easier if you put your bolts in the water neck and put your gasket over the bolt holes. It works out a little easier that way.
put your gasket on, you bolts through it like that. It's a whole lot easier that way. Same thing with your water neck. Not a ton of torque on them. And I'm pretty sure y'all can't see worth a damn because of the shade. Dirt dauber nest. Dad out of there. So now I'm hooked the lines, the uh, heater core lines back up. This one goes over the new tube that we just installed. This one goes back on the water neck. Plug the temperature sending unit back up. Clamp up. There we go. All right. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, so right now I'm going to put my fittings in for my transmission lines. Remember, I said. I told y'all they come with three different size fittings so what I did was I took a couple of them and test fitted on my transmission lines underneath the Jeep and these are the ones that it takes so you don't want it where you have to force it on there it needs to be snug but it doesn't just slide on either so these were the ones that worked for my application so I'm gonna put some uh, plumbers tape on them get these things on there we're going to do that right now. And then using a 17 millimeter, tighten it up. Remember, this is all aluminum. You don't have to Gorilla Grip it. Also, right here, this little tab, you can see the perforation in it. I hope you can anyway. That's where your air conditioning lines are going to come up. If you have air conditioning, that's where it's going to be. They've already perforated it. All you got to do is break that dude off. like that.
tip the bolts that they send with the radiator are the wrong thread they will not screw into your OE fasteners so after a quick trip to the hardware store get you some M6 by 35 coarse thread and you'll have it licked all right so I got the radiator on I got the new shroud on there and I stuck the fan in there just to see and that's exactly what the deal is the fan is touching the bottom of the shroud so I'm gonna have to modify some things as you can tell by the Sun in my eyes it's getting late in the day I worked half a day today it's getting on to be about beer 30 I think I'm gonna come back at this in the morning all right guys so it's the next day uh, I slept on it a little bit tried to come up with a game plan and the option last night when I went to bed was we were just gonna cut just enough out of the bottom of the fan shroud to clear the fan and when I woke up this morning I thought about it some more and I was like yeah I don't I don't like that idea so um, I came out I did a few test fits and I think by just lowering the shroud and I'm talking not much at all probably less than an inch I think we're gonna clear the fan so what I did was I put the fan on the radiator measured it out and then I put some new nut zerts in because the radiator came with nut zerts in it um, I drilled some holes, put some new nut certs, got everything lined up. Well, got the fan clutch on, got the shroud on. Now I just gotta see if it hits. We gold. So, I just got done uh, topping everything off and bleeding off the system well guys you know what time it is it's beer 30 it's been a long day and a half we got uh, you just you run into things when you have modified Jeeps and you buy replacement parts for them chances are you're gonna have to modify something to make it work if you've modified your Jeep at all and that's what we had to do here. Not that it was hard, just took some time and figuring out what I needed to do. So, Grunt's back on the road. Uh, next week is gonna be a wheeling video. We went to Uari last weekend, had a big time. So, look for that video. You guys, thanks for watching. Till the next time, keep the shiny side up, and Jeep on.